Uh, the third book I had is a trilogy and I pulled out my copy of The Bromeliad by Terry Pratchett who as if you know me you know Terry Pratchett was one of my favourite authors, the late great Sir Terry Pratchett. Um, I am almost halfway through so I'm part way into the second book the, um, the Diggers so I finished Truckers which is the first book and I'm part way into The Diggers um, this was what I was reading when things kind of like went a bit um, AWOL and I didn't really read anything and I was even having trouble getting into this and it was I just wasn't reaching for books so um, I will be finishing it though it's a good read. I do enjoy it. I enjoy the write, the way that Terry writes. It's, it's just something I like. So, uh, the next one I had was a book that was published in 2018. The book I picked was called The Ring of Corlan, The Initiation. <sighs> this was an interesting book. Um, there are some aspects of it that are very violent and almost confrontingly violent um, and written in a quite graphic fashion and like they're very intense but then other parts of it would be almost throw away and flippant so it was kind of like there was a particular flow of the book for most of it and then there are these few violent scenes and it wasn't like a gradual build up of intensity to those points it was like do 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 wham do 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 and it was like what what it was just it went from a to z like in almost instantaneously there's like no lead up no real lead up no sort of increase of suspension or anything like that it was just one minute there's nothing happening and the next minute there's a person almost dead and I, I just I didn't really enjoy that aspect of it there were some aspects of it I liked there were other aspects of it I I didn't like some of the characterization was actually really good but it was there were a lot of um, overdone cliche type things in it um, it was okay and it's supposed to be the lead in to other stories that go on so it's kind of like left with like the open end nothing is resolved type of thing which is fine because you know it does <laughs> it does call it the initiation um, it's not it's not a storyline that when I get to the end of that story I want to read the next one um, like there are some stories I get to the end of the story and I'm like oh my god I can't wait for the next one kind of a bit like Harry Potter was like that I want to read the next one but this for me was was not like that at all uh, the last book I picked was a book by an author you've never read before the book that I picked was Broken Pieces by Kathleen Long I think I said Ion or something when I th it's actually long I couldn't see the G it's, it's Kathleen Long um, it was an interesting story. It, um, I enjoyed reading it. There were, there was kind of like a little bit of a, a love story aspect, but that was not the focus of the story by any means whatsoever. Um, I'm not going to give it away because it's, there's a lot that sort of like goes on, but it is very much about family and rediscovering family and, um, there is a couple of particularly heart-rending type of scenes which were very well handled. Probably if I wasn't on a medication that reduces me to almost no emotional um, abilities whatsoever, I probably would have cried. Um, they, they were very well written passages of intense emotion. Um, yeah. So I actually really enjoyed that one. Of all of those books, other than the Bromeliad, that was my favourite of those books. It was the one that I felt the best coming out of, like, I've just read a good story. So that one I would actually recommend. The rest of them, only if you're into that kind of thing. Not, not my particular genre.
or you know, my wheelhouse, as they say. So uh, what I did is I picked four new books to be going on with. Uh, the number that I picked, I picked 67, which is a book from a genre you've never read. I don't think there's a genre I've never actually read. I've read something from pretty much every genre you can pretty much imagine, I reckon, at least once in my life. Um, yeah. So, um, what I did is I went through my uh, Kindle and I picked a book from my Kindle that is in sort of a genre I don't really read very much of, um, which is kind of like um, family drama type thing. Just what I believe this to be from the um, uh, what do you what do you call that thing? Um, that's what this the description. Okay, so this is called Daughters for a Time by Jennifer Handford. Um, I will read you the blurb. When Helen Frances was a child, her mother died and her father walked out, leaving her to be raised by her older sister. Now 35, married and trying to start a family of her own, Helen has moved on but never really healed from her traumatic childhood. She has always believed that a new baby would help fill the loss of what was taken from her at such a young age. After four years of trying to become pregnant, however, she is resigned to the fact that she will never be able to bear children. Half-heartedly accepting adoption as an alternative, Helen grudgingly embraces and grows excited over the prospect. And when her new baby is finally in her arms, true happiness washes over her. But her unimaginable bliss is dashed when she learns that Claire, the sister who raised and loved her throughout her childhood and adult life, has been diagnosed with cancer. For Helen, the pain of her childhood returns and the old wounds of abandonment are once again torn open. Balancing the joy of her new daughter with the painful experience of watching her sister, the physical embodiment of unconditional love in her life, slowly die, Helen must reconcile her inner feelings and heal her broken spirit. A heart-wrenching exploration of the ties that bind us and the lasting pain of childhood loss, Daughters for a Time, is about longing for a family to heal a broken heart, experiencing unconditional love as a parent, and finding solid ground to stand on when suffering and elation have equally powerful holds on our life. So I think in some ways it's going to be a bit like the Broken Pieces one by Kathleen Long. It's got some sort of similar... Um, things in it. So, as I said, it's not a genre I haven't read. It's just not one that I tend to go towards. Quite honestly, I just go for romance because I don't have to think too hard. <laughs> uh, the second book um, I picked was 85, which is a book that's a popular fairy tale. And I figured I could have, um, you know, gone the, the way of just reading fairy tales. But then I thought, I actually have this book um, it's from a series of books written by a lady called Inez Johnson called Cinder Mama Stories. Um, and it's kind of that, I guess, a, a play off of the whole Cinderella type thing. So this one is actually called Pumpkin. Um, it says, enter a world where single mothers get a second chance happily ever after with book one in the Cinder Mama series. Single mum Malika Pumpkin uh, Taveras lost faith in fairy tales after she fell for a toad. Now she believes she's not cut for the storybook heroine cloth and searches for Mr. Good Enough amongst the sidekicks and supporting men of the town. Love at first sight isn't a cliche for a town royalty isn't a cliche for town royalty, Armand, Manny, Charmaine. For generations, the Charmaines have spotted their soulmates mates by seeing a golden aura the first time they laid eyes on the one. When Manny meets Pumpkin, he sees nothing, but sparks fly off the Richter scale. The more he gets to know her, the more he considers defying fate, if only he convinced her to take a chance on love again. So, very much the kind of... Cinderella fairy tale type story. So kind of a different take on the actual prompt, but um, it's in my list of books to read, so I figured I'd, I'd just pick that one. Uh, the last two are both physical books. Uh, I picked 89, which is a play, so I grabbed my cop copy of Heinrich Ibsen's A Dollhouse and Other Plays. I'm not sure which one I will pick. Um, 
is either the League of Youth, A Doll's House, or The Lady from the Sea. I have already read The Doll's House. It was a required reading when I was at school. Um, so I will probably read one of the other ones. So that is it for a play. And the last category was 35, which is a banned book. So I went with a book that has been banned, at least in America. I don't know if it's been banned anywhere else. Uh, this is Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This is obviously an older version of the book. Uh, this one... Um, let's see if I can find out. This is the 1953 edition of it. So... Apparently this was has been banned um, and challenged a few different times over the years. Actually, apparently it's one of the most challenged books. Um, a lot said about it being rach racially insensitive and oppressive. And I'm sure probably from today's point of view it probably is. Um, but you've got to not look at books from the time that you're reading them rather than the time that they were written understand what the author was seeing in the world. It was written a really long time ago. I mean, this was written um, 1876. This was first published. So, very different world to the world that we currently live in. But, interesting. I mean, I'm booking up anyway. So, those are the books that I will be reading for however long it takes me to read those. Uh, make sure you check out the others down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell. If you want to get notified of when I upload new videos, leave me a thumbs up. If you like projects, particularly reading type projects, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!